Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem 30 in chapter 15. Chapter 15 is about waves. In this one, first we need to find the function to describe this wave, wave, wave function, the wave, right? And then the general wave function looks like this one. And then we need to find the, the parameters a, k, omega, and phi. So let's see what quantity is given, amplitude is given, wavelength is given, frequency is given, the, and the initial t equal to zero, and the position x equal to zero, the d is given. Now we need to find the shapes for waves at t equal to zero. Of course, when t equal to zero, this term disappears, right? It becomes a sine kx plus phi. So it looks like we only need to know a, k, and phi, we are done, so for a, right? Now we can say first one, a, it is there, amplitude, so we don't need to do any work. And then look at the k, wave number is 2 pi over lambda. And lambda is given, so 2 pi over 0 0.03, and this part is easy. The next part, we need to find phi, and then we see the next quantity given is tell us at t equal to zero, lambda equal to zero, the distance equal to d, 0 0.08, agree? So it becomes a sine phi equal to d, because this x is disappeared, so a sine phi d, and then in this way we can find the phi is 0 0.93. Now we input the a, k, and the phi, phase shift inside Vega function, look like this one. This is a wave function at t equal to zero. Right, and then we need to plot this picture, so it is easy. So you just uh, look at this part as x, this part as d, and so you describe it. The next one, we need to find the function for x and t. So for x and t, that means we use these general functions. If we need to look at the omega t, omega, angular velocity is 2 pi f, agree? 2 pi f, and input f inside, we get answer there. And when you put this omega inside, we get the general wave function for x and t in this function. Thank you.